Today's topic, freckles. Freckles are clusters or aggregation of cells containing melanin, the normal skin pigment. Freckles are easily visible on people with a fair complexion, but can appear on all skin tones. Freckles are mostly found on the face, but can appear on any skin exposed to the sun, such as the arms or shoulders. Freckles are not a skin disorder and are usually harmless. They also do not serve as indications of any underlying skin condition. Most freckles are uniform, but they may vary in color in some people. They may be reddish, yellow, tan, light brown, brown, or black, but they always appear darker than the surrounding skin. There are two categories of freckles, Ephelides and Letigenes. Ephelides and Lentigenes. Ephelides describes a freckle that is flat, light brown or red, and typically appears in the sunny months. They suppress or fade with reduction of sun exposure and are most often found in those with light complexion, but can also be found on people with a variety of skin tones. The regular use of sunblock can inhibit their development. Ephelides are the common type. Solar lentigenes look like large freckles. They form in adulthood after years of exposure to the sun and are often darker. They do not fade with the reduction of sun exposure. Causes Freckles are caused by a combination of genetic predisposition and exposure to sunlight. The ultraviolet rays emitted by the sun can activate the production of melanin pigment when absorbed by the skin. Melanin is produced by a type of skin cell called melanocytes. In freckles, the melanocytes produce more melanin pigment than usual, changing the coloration of the outer skin, as in keratinocytes. People with many freckles have at least one copy of a variant MC1R gene, which is the same variant that causes red hair. This is why people with red hair appear to be more susceptible to the damaging effect of ultraviolet rays and are likely to develop freckles. Symptoms The main symptom is the appearance of colored spots on various parts of the skin. The color may vary, but are commonly light brown or tan. Diagnosis and treatment. Freckles can be diagnosed by a simple skin examination. Further examinations are usually not required. However, a doctor may order a skin biopsy to exclude the possibility of certain skin cancer. Treatment. Freckles often come back after repeated exposure to sunlight, but treatments are available to lighten freckles by reducing the amount of melanin in the skin. Some of these treatments are expensive and may carry serious side effects. It is very important that you speak with your doctor before going ahead. These creams usually contain hydroquinone and kojic acid. They can help lighten freckles when used consistently over a period of months. Hydroquinone is thought to suppress melanin production. A survey carried out by the British Skin Foundation found 80% of dermatologists feel lightening creams are safe when prescribed by a dermatologist. Laser treatment. This may help to lighten up and decrease the appearance of freckles. Laser works by removing the outer layer of the skin or by damaging the cells producing melanin. Cryotherapy. This involves freezing the top layer of the skin with liquid nitrogen or carbon dioxide to destroy abnormal skin cells. Not all spots respond to this form of therapy. Chemical peels can also help lighten freckles. Abrasive liquids are brushed onto the face to remove dead skin cells and stimulate the growth of new cells. Sunscreen may help to prevent the formation of new freckles, but won't get rid of existing ones. They should be worn all year round. It should be applied to the skin at least 15 minutes before going outdoors. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.